morning fret friends on this fine fine day today uh, we know it as christmas day 25th of december year of our lord 2021 uh, we love christmas in this house me and michelle but we're christian so we're going to uh, but moving on uh, i just wanted to uh just recap and add to the video i, I set last month uh when i was talking about uh, going forward with fret friend and me not being very well and um, still nothing is, is decided about that. I will not be quitting, I will not be finishing. Uh, there may be a few changes, but I just wanted to take this moment just to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day, uh, as we will here. But I just wanted to give a little update on how things are going uh, right now and going forward. Now, you know I didn't take anything in, in, in December. And uh, I've not got round to messaging anyone yet, but no one has cancelled. I still have over 40 people in the queue, which is fabulous. Um, I just wanted to explain where I am and what I'm doing. I have a guitar on the bench behind me right now, which is a friend's guitar from church, uh, which is an RG, I believe, a Japanese-made RG470 Ibanez, an absolutely wonderful guitar, top of the range in its day, uh, a wonderful, wonderful guitar. But uh, the other jobs I have in, or I have three in at the moment. I have a Les Paul, which has been refretted. It is a Les Paul Custom, which came in with a quite a badly bent neck, which I've straightened. Uh, that's having a refret, uh, new electrics put in and brand new pickups put in. Uh, that is half done. Again, that one, the owner has had it. It, sh it says it should be my favorite guitar and he absolutely hates it. It's always played like a plank. He says it's never played well. So if you can do it, will you do the job? And I said, yeah, I can get it back and get it. If you want it to be a favorite guitar, I will make sure when you get it back, it will be a favorite guitar. It will play perfectly. So I've straightened the neck. I've done him a favor on that. I've charged him a lot less than I ought to have done. Um, but that is already half done. I have two more in which I've not started, but I'm going to be doing those over this Christmas period or Christmas and New Year period. I only get four days off from Royal Mail. I've got Christmas Day, which is today. I've got Boxing Day tomorrow and I have Monday and Tuesday off. That is it. So I'm going to do work on Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to be doing a bulk of work on two other guitars. I do have an Ibanez RG200, which is a um, one of the very first RG models. That needs uh, a fret level and some neck work, uh, possibly a new nut. And then I have a Gibson 339, which is also that's in for an extensive setup. It will be having a new nut. These two guitars have been in here for quite a while, six weeks or more. Um, I should really have got them started by now, but with my problems and my issues, uh, that I've been having, I've not got round to it. So that's two I want to be starting. Following that, I'm going to be looking at releasing another video in the new year, explaining my condition, my health, and uh, what we're going to be doing going forwards. As things are, staying exactly the same, I try not to book anything else in, but people are still asking. So I might say to I've got a four or five month waiting list and, and people don't seem to be bothered. So I'm going to hope to get in here more next year. Uh, definitely, certainly more than I've done this year. I've not done a great deal of work in the workshop this year, but I've been busy at Royal Mail and I've had my issues with my health. So, going forward, I'm not gonna to talk too much about it right now. Uh, we will be restructuring. I'll maybe change the workshop around a little bit. Um, but going forward, I'll do a video about that next week. So this video, I've basically said what I want to say. I just wanna say happy Christmas to everyone. I hope you all have a great day today. I've released this video today as well. And the uh, question you probably want to be asking is, uh, what did you get for Christmas, Vic? Well, I got some fabulous gifts. And uh, this one being, you'll see here, case with Spark written on it. And it's exactly what it is. It is Positive Grid Spark. Now, I actually got the Pearl version, which is supposed to be a limited edition. Didn't cost any extra. I got an absolutely fabulous deal on this because my wife asked me what I wanted. I couldn't think of anything. I looked at this and it came up on a Black Friday deal. And I thought, that deal is too good to be missed. Uh, that deal is too good to miss. So I got this, I think it cost under £230 delivered with all import tax paid and everything with the case. I think it cost just shy of £230, which is a fabulous deal. So Michelle, my wife, bought me that. I've had loads of other goodies. Uh, I've had some great books from Stumac, books I've been waiting for. I got a great deal on those again. I got half price deals on four books. Um, so really, really good. I don't know what I've done with the books. They may be, I don't think they're here. Now, I don't know what I've done with them. They're knocking about somewhere, but uh, they are fabulous. If we can just find, can I find that? Here we go. I've got them right here. And books I probably don't necessarily need, but they were just such a good deal. I already have some Stumac books, 
So this one, guitar finishing. Now I don't build guitars, I don't finish guitars, but I thought I'll get the book because I've got it at half price. So great book there. Uh, guitar finishing, absolutely fantastic. Um, electric guitar and bass making and, market, uh, and marketing. So building guitars. Again, a lovely thick book. I think I paid £13 for this. It's just full of information on how to build and market guitars. Great things to have. Another small maintenance and repair. I don't know why I buy these. I never look in them, I don't need to, because I know all the cool things. I thought it'd just be a nice book to have. This was a little bit more expensive. Was, I think it was seven pounds, and there's only about 50 pages in there. Probably didn't really need that, but this one, probably the best one of the lot, is Guitar Player Repair Guide. There's gotta be something in here, I don't know. There's got to be something. Um, all the other books I've got, I've got some quite thick ones as well. I've gone through them all and I'm thinking, I do that, I do that, I do that, and I've always done it. So, But this, yeah, massive, massive amount of information in there. Um, hundreds and hundreds of pages, a DVD in the back, don't even know what's on it. Page wise, over 300 pages in this one. So great books, these weren't really Christmas presents. I bought these because they were on offer the other week, but I like to think the Christmas presents. Fantastic, these would be fantastic stocking for this, but anyway. So that's it, that's more or less what I wear for Christmas. I had some other things, uh, but not guitar related. So, so that's it, so I hope you guys have all had good gifts. I also hope that you are, you're having a great and wonderful day. Um, also, hopefully you could bring bring some joy to someone at Christmas. Maybe if you saw a homeless guy, uh, you know, out on your travels, give him a sandwich or, or what have you, uh, things of this ilk. Um, we always like to, we, we are generous givers, me and Michelle, not just at Christmas, but you know, all the time. It's what we are, but it is so good to give at Christmas. So I hope you're having a wonderful, blessed day and um, I will see you all in the new year. So in the meantime, as always, God bless you. Be good to each other, and I'll see you soon.